All right, I'm going to be uh, showing off my Garmin Panoptix Live Scope portable unit. Um, just got this thing all purchased a few weeks ago and been spending the last few weeks getting this portable unit set up for it. Uh, decided to go with the portable unit because uh, decided I wanted to have a standalone mast for the transducers as a lot of people didn't like them mounted directly to their trolling motors because you lost the capabilities of be able to target a certain direction and hold that target if the trolling motor is constantly moving to control the direction or anchor position. So I decided to make this portable, use it for ice fishing, be able to move it from boat to boat, dock fishing, uh, just kind of try out all the uses I can with it uh, until I decide to mount it permanently in the boat if that's what I decide to do. Um, what I got this mounted on is just a standard 28 quart igloo rolling cooler. You can pick these up at your local hardware stores or online for around $25. This mast I got online, it extends from 30 inches to 50 inches. These aren't the best masts, I think, for everything, as it's got a pretty small C clamp on it that's way too small to go on the larger gunnels of the bigger fishing boats. Mostly just made to go on the transom, but uh, working on a makeshift wooden clamp that I can temporarily clamp it in and try it out in different locations on the boat. Once I find the spot I like the best, I'll probably mount in a little teak block of wood on the gunnel to clamp that C clamp onto and use it from one position on the boat. Um, as I said, this unit is on wheels to kind of help with rolling it around. I little bit different than most is this unit has two batteries in it. They're two 15 amp hour batteries. And off to this side it's a little hard to see. But there's a 6 amp battery charger installed. Um, basically so you don't have to take out the batteries ever. They're pretty much mounted into there. Just plug the charger in. Uh, all the cables come out of the back corners to plug into the fish finder on that side. On this side is the cables coming out that run to the transducers. There's plenty of room inside the cooler to hold all the cables. And when you want to go for a longer storage, you can. This is a quick mount that rotates. You can just pop that thing off, unplug the cables, and everything can store inside the box for if you're going for a long-term storage and don't want it all sitting out. Uh, I've seen a lot of other videos online of people making portable units like this. Uh, I think the only thing different with mine is just the extra electronics uh, made available on there. This thing is, has a voltage meter so you can tell what the battery status is. You just would switch from A battery to B battery. I mean, that is visible on your fish finder monitor, but if you ever was sitting there storing it and wanted to do a quick check of where your battery's at, if you needed to charge them or if they're good, you could just give that a quick check. Also, if you wanted the accessories, you can flip it to that and you'd have USB ports to charge your phone or anything else you'd need. On this side, there's two female 12-volt uh, plugs. The bottom one is for accessories uh, to run anything else. You can run a phone charger off of that as well. Uh, this top one is to bring in external power into the unit it can either run off internal batteries or you could switch it over to external power and you'd be able to hook that into a boat's 12 volt accessory plug or get gator clips for the plug and hook directly to the battery uh, if the internal batteries are starting to run low on power. I've only been able to test this out by running the monitor but uh, one battery 
will run the monitor for at least 10 hours is as long as I run it and it was still showing about 10 15 percent power on the battery when I plugged into the charger so the two batteries I'm hoping combined the transducers will probably eat up a lot more of the power but I'm hoping with the two batteries that I can at least get hopefully 10 hours out of both batteries um, figured that'd be a pretty long fishing day if that unit was running that could make it that long would be able to serve its purpose for a day of fishing um, I said the weight on this is just over 40 pounds it doesn't really seem to feel that heavy but it is a little bulky with the two batteries uh, if it only went with one battery and not put in the battery charger that would probably knock this thing down to being right around 30 pounds um, but I kind of felt the extra weight would be worth it to have the extended life out on the boat without having to worry about always charging it all the time. So kind of was the purpose of putting it on wheels. You can roll it down the dock or in the garage to move it around so you're not having to pick it up and pack it all the time. Uh, uh, probably have right around 150 to 200 dollars into this unit uh, said the cooler was 25 the mast was about 75 dollars online the two batteries were about 50 to 60 bucks the charger was another 20 or 25 dollars i spent on that and then a lot with the miscellaneous wiring um and the stickers, I made homemade stickers for this uh, just to kind of zazz it up a little, I guess. Um, just for some fun. Uh, I guess if you got any questions, post it in the comments below. I'll try to answer anything if anybody's got any questions on it. Looking forward to giving this thing a try here in maybe a month. Hopefully the ice will be getting off the lakes pretty soon and can get a fishing trip planned and give this live scope a try out and see if it lives up to all it's supposed to do. All right. Talk to everybody later.